Hey everybody, welcome back to the H1 video. And if you've been waiting for this Hitch water bottle, well, it looks like they're finally shipping orders. Let's take a look and see what this baby can do. All right guys, like I said, welcome back to the H1 video. And yes, I will be unboxing my Hitch water bottle. Now, if any of you guys are on Instagram or maybe you don't get ads for this, but this water bottle has been in my ads for the last like two years. It's basically an 18 ounce water bottle that has a 12 ounce cup hidden inside. You can lock the cup on top of the water bottle and carry it all one handed. It's really, really slick. I think the GoFundMe and Indiegogo or maybe Indiegogo, not GoFundMe, the Indiegogo started like in 2020. And I think that's when they're going to be delivering orders. And yeah, they just started shipping the first batch of these bad boys like a month ago. So it's been a long time waiting. Granted, they had a lot of restrictions because of COVID, stuff closed down, so they weren't able to get these things produced, but a lot of people have been very patiently waiting for this. Somehow I got lucky, I ordered mine in March and got mine shipped right away. Don't know, maybe that was, a, they, they dropped the ball on that one, but anyway, I digress. I'm super excited to get this thing. Let's check it out. So let's take a look at the packaging. I know they've been working a long time on this, so I'm, I'm expecting this thing to be beautiful. But as you can see, drink full-size water bottle, you can release the cup that goes into your water bottle. And then the sip on, there's a little lid on top as well of the, of the water bottle that allows you to even put the 12 ounce cup with a lid on it. I know I'm kind of like rambling, but this is really cool. And then it has a full little way to clean it as well. So you can actually take everything apart and clean it really well. So you don't have to worry about things getting moldy or grimy, but they're totally carbon positive. Up here, you'll see there's the nested cup lid, which will cover the 12 ounce cup, the bottle lid for the 18 ounce water bottle, there's the inner double wall vacuum insulated shell. The shell, again, as I mentioned, is removable. The cup storage area that tells you where the cup goes. The 12 ounce cup is also double wall insulated. And then there's a cup release. I'll show you the whole mechanism and everything in this video. Please stay with me. I know a lot of people are like, get to the point, get to the unboxing, but there's information in here that you guys wanna know. Uh, so again, it's 18.8 stainless steel, vacuum insulated, dishwasher safe, which is really nice to know, double walled. It does say cold 12 hours, hot eight hours, which is nice. I'm assuming it's for everything since everything is uh, double walled. And yeah, here it is, Hitch. So I got the kind of like cream white edition. Looks nice, let's check it out. Again, they've been promising this for a while, so. Okay. Initial impressions, it's nice. It's definitely a bit wider than I thought it would be. Uh, check out the base. So this is what you would unscrew to pull out the bottle. But check out the color. It's a nice little off-white color. Kind of like a cream color that I mentioned earlier. You can check out the top view here. It's really nice, very minimal branding. If you look right here, all it does is just says hitch right here at the bottom. So I think that's really nice. Um, it feels a bit wide at the bottom. Um, I don't know. The only the thing I'm, I'm, why I mentioned that is I'm like concerned about cup holders. Will this fit in my cup holder? I will double check that for you. I have a regular size cup holder in my car, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, so let's check it out, right? So here is your water bottle from Hitch. You pop off the magnetic top. And then there's an additional top with like a little cross there, and I'll show you that in a minute. But you can also open this up all the way. And then there's your... your your stuff. Oh, there's stuff in here. Let's see what's in here. So there looks to be like a little mini brush for cleaning something. And then here you get like a little stop card. So let's see what it says, right? So it says stop, stop, stop. It's do not leave liquid in your cup when, when inserting in the bottle. Do not apply more than 50 pounds of force on the outer shell because again, there's a cup inside there so it'll probably bend it. And do not hold horizontally when you attach or detach the cup from the bottle. So interesting information there from Hitch. And then there's some more information on how to clean it, talking about how it's BPA free, and it shows you how to secure the cup and everything onto the bottle, which I will be showing you guys myself. But it's, you know, standard 18 ounce water bottle here. And again, I'm gonna show you guys the cool feature. So here at the bottom, you'll see there's like a little, like a twist portion. It even says lock and unlock. So you know kind of which way to be turning. So you'll just turn kind of this way very simply. So I went the wrong way. Very simply, you kind of turn it and then it just kind of slides out. So hitch branding, pull out, and then here's your little cup. So that's kind of what it looks like on the bottom. So this is why they say not to put too much pressure because you can easily probably bend this and then good luck getting your cup back in there. But I mean, it's pretty simple the way this works, right? So you have your water bottle, you close this bad boy up like this. 
boom, closed. You can get this filled up with water, get your coffee or whatever other beverage you want in here. And as I mentioned, the top here is magnetic, so pretty decent magnet, but you can pop it out. And then it has a little screw on for the additional water bottle. You just screw it on like this. You could open it up to take a drink. Pretty, pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory. And then, as I mentioned here at the bottom, there's that little line. And then the top part of the water bottle had that crosshair. You just put it on top, you line it up with one of the lines here. My first time doing this, a little finessing here. Okay, you line it up and then you twist. And then there you go, one-handed water bottle usage. So the top closes, it's all there, on there pretty securely. So, you know, it's nice if you've got your hands full or you got, you're a person that has their coffee every day with a tumbler and a water bottle. I mean, just imagine walking around with just one cup. Like that's pretty, pretty dope. And then, you know, you could also drink from the top here, which is where your coffee or whatever other beverage is. And look, you can do that. And benefit, you could also just open it up and drink your water separately. So it's pretty, pretty slick. I really like that combination. And then when you're done, you just take it out, make sure there's no liquid in here, like they say. Unscrew the top part, it magnetically attaches. And then you just throw this in here and then just screw it closed. And you're good, right? It's all back into one bottle. I don't know, I thought this was really cool. It's a neat idea. I have seen other people do this in the past, but nothing that kind of has this whole one water bottle type of flow, which is sick. Uh, but yeah, so this is kind of what this does. I do have another water bottle here. This is from Camelback. I'll, I'll post a link to this on my, down in the description below, uh, an affiliate link. This one doesn't have any type of link, so I mean, if you wanna buy it, wait for it, good luck. Uh, but this has a similar mechanism, right? So here, you open it up and here it has a little 16 ounce bottle or extra bottle. It comes off of the tumbler. There is no other way to attach it, but if you open this up, so this is like a 32 ounce water bottle. You open this up, you can drink your water and then you open the lid here like this and you've got a second little, little silicone like coffee style lid that you just go on top like this. Boom. And you've got your little lid. So you got, you know, your two cups here if you want it. And then when you're done, this folds back into the lid itself. And then this can go just right back on top of the cup. That was probably loud, but yeah. So here's another option. I think this bottle costs around 50 to $60. So it's not cheap, but you know, it's a, it's a good little option if you're wanting something right now. Cause I know Hitch is still kind of struggling to get these produced and shipped. Uh, so again, affiliate Amazon link down below for this. And then I'll just post a link to this bad boy uh, down in the uh, description below. But I don't know, I like it so far. It looks pretty nice, um, patent pending on this, I guess, but I don't know. I don't know what else to really say. It's a water bottle that people have been waiting almost two years for, and it's finally here. Uh, I think the price on this is $70, so yeah, it's kind of expensive, but I mean, when you think about it, like a hydro flask is around 50. Um, so if you bought these two separately, you could argue it's like 70 bucks. Um, I don't know, it's up to you. Is, is, this is convenience. Do you want the convenience of having a cup within a cup? Maybe you do. I, I mean, I, I do, that's why I bought it. I think it's neat. I travel a lot. I go on planes, I travel my car a lot. I do get a coffee every time I uh, head out in the morning uh, whenever I'm visiting clients and stuff. So for me, this is gonna be clutch. I, I do like that. Uh, one other thing I wanted to show you was how to remove the inner lining. Uh, say you have a, like a little bit of coffee in here. You're not supposed to have liquid in there, but you know, you're gonna have the coffee juices or whatever you have in here and you're gonna put it back. The inside is gonna get gross. So all you gotta do is you push down on the top part of the stainless steel and it releases the whole inner mechanism. There's a little sticker here that tells you about it. This little silicone part on the bottom you can remove. So this is where the cup is gonna go to help trap some of those nasty germs. But yeah, you could wash basically the entire thing and keep it really sanitary, let it all dry completely and then you put it together. There's a little notch here. You see that little notch? You line up the little notch with the Hitch logo, like this, right? Notch, notch, Hitch logo, you see that? You just kind of go like that, and then you just push. That means it's in, and then you're good. You've got your inner liner in, you're good to go. You can close this back up now. You've washed everything, you're good. You're excited, you're ready to go. But yeah, guys, I mean, this is kind of it. I'm gonna try to get some B-roll of seeing if this fits in my cup holder, so you'll see a shot of that right now. Okay, so ignore all the junk in my car. I do want to say cup holder test has failed. It is a bit too wide for both of my cup holders. 
I mean, it'll, it'll probably fit in these. They're a bit wider. Oh, it doesn't even fit in the wide ones. That's a bummer. So yeah, hopefully it fits in my cup holder. And uh, yeah, maybe some beer will be taking it to Starbucks and having them fill this up with water and a coffee. Yeah, so I'm gonna do a uh, water and then just a nitrous filter. You want it? You want the cream? What do you want? Water? Yeah. So we're just gonna have the cold brew and the water made. And you want ice in this? Um, yes, please. Thank you. I know they just came out with it. I thought it was cool. Thanks. Yes, man. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. Shout out for sure. Sounds good. Thank you. Appreciate it. Always right. Look at me. Thank you. Appreciate it. That'll be pretty rad. But all right, guys, that does it. This is the hitch bottle, hitch water bottle slash coffee cup. Again, I know I I'm like super stoked over this cup, but I have been seeing ads for it for two years. And the fact that they took so long to get this out, people have been pretty upset. But you know, they've had supply chain issues like everybody else in the world. So manufacturing this from complete scratch was difficult for them. But I mean, I like it. I mean, even the bottom has this little silicone to keep it from really moving a lot. Ooh, I just shook the whole studio. But anyways, I think this is neat. Again, link down below if you wanna purchase this. Again, be careful with shipping. I got super lucky and was able to get this shipped out to me in like a month. Other people are not so lucky. Uh, so be very weary with the shipping times. This Camelback one is available now on Amazon. So again, that's why I'm linking this one for sure. Affiliate link. And this is just going to have a link for it. So if you like it, you think this is cool, order it. Good luck with shipping. That's all I got to say. But all right, guys, thank you all so much for watching. If you really like this video, please go ahead and leave a like. And if you'd love to go ahead and subscribe or just subscribe in general because I make cool content. But all right, guys, I'm going to fill this up and hopefully use it. All right. Catch you later. Peace.